Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. It's gonna- you know what? Oh wait, this is way more genius. <gasps> no, We can just keep reducing Earth's density. Oh my god, until it's really, really, really like... Like Earth is going to be made out of air. Oh my god. We have created Earth the size of the Milky Way. It's kind of just like turning into dust though because it's so, so not dense and light. But, oh, it's just kind of collapsing back onto itself. So maybe it's fine. I'm a little bit concerned, I'll be honest. And we're just gonna turn that up. The Milky Way is absolutely massive, so Earth is going to need to get some real speed in order- Oh! That was some real speed, okay. Galaxy more like cluster of bean soup. I agree so heavily. Alrighty, this is what happens when Earth collides with the frickin' Milky Way. Honestly, I think everyone wanted to know. I mean, well, why wouldn't you want to know the outcome of this? We'll do it a second time for testing's sake, uh, but let's see collision number one. What's gonna happen? This is a very non-dense Earth though. Like, the atoms of this Earth are pretty, pretty damn far apart. Uh, I'd like to do the math out, but I don't really have the time to do the math out. What is Earth just going to eat it? Is Earth just going to eat the Milky Way and just not care at all? Oh my god. Earth literally does not care. It's consuming the stars. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How? How is this happening? Why is this happening? I'm really, really confused. Are they even interacting? Is the Earth just passing through it, or is it actually eating it? Did Earth just disappear? What the heck? Okay. Oh my god! What the heck? Did you see how it shrank? What? What is ha- Why is it causing- It must be changing the density? When it hits things, it recalculates the density, so it's just... Oh man, that is really odd. That is really odd. It's just shrinking. But what if we fight back? What if we pump Earth's size up while it's going? Who will win? I have a feeling I will win. This is so weird, working with things that have these low density- Oh, the Milky Way just ate it. That's sad. Alright, let's 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 see what happens if we go ahead and get a star. Let's go with a rather large star. And I know what you're saying, that's still nothing close to the Milky Way. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Bye. <laughs> It's closer. We're, we're, we're going a little bit bigger. Could you get a black hole and decrease its density and keep it as a black hole in this? Oh, that is, that is a really interesting question. Huh. This does not seem to be working like I had planned. It looks like the radius is not changing. Looks like I have to do... Yeah, it just got eaten. Sad. <laughs> Very sad. Very unfortunate. How, how did that happen? No. Oh my god. That is so cool. Okay. We're going to make every solar object so large that they're just going to be inches away from each other. Oh, wow. Oh, look at Mercury. Is that changing the heat out? 
Oh my god, look at Mercury! <laughs> Mercury. Wow. That is... <laughs> that is hot. That is some hot stuff being just like right off of the surface of the sun. Oh my god. That's beautiful. How much damage is Mercury going through? It's not really losing that much mass, so I don't think it's gonna like die. Oh, Earth! Earth, no! But wait, when we make Earth and stuff bigger, there will be more space for the for the heat to be transferred over, so maybe it'll balance out. Probably not, because it'll also absorb it through more, but hey, you never know, y you know? Totally. Alrighty, Mercury, we're about to inflate Mercury. I am inflating the entire solar system. It's beautiful. I look very yellow. Oh my... No! It was too much heat! Oh, Mercury couldn't handle it. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Alright, let's see if Venus can handle it. Oh, once they get really large, the amount of heat they're getting from the sun just increases to the point where it gets really challenging. Yeah, did you see that? It just like instantly died. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to change this. We need we need a new strategy. A new strategy that will Okay, here's the plan. We're not going to change the sun size. We're just going to change the planet sizes. Because that should protect the planets from certain death, I think. You know, certain death is hard to calculate, so we're just gonna go with what I know, which is, you know, big good. <laughs> so we're gonna make Mercury nice and big, and we're gonna see if it were... So Mercury is heating up, but not nearly as quickly as it was before. What? Wait a second, it just disappeared? Why? I was able to make Earth the size of the freaking entire galaxy and it didn't die. What is up with this? Why? Game, you're ruining my fun. I want to be able to make these things incredibly not dense. See, Venus is venting material at this point. Okay. But not a ton. I mean, it's warm. But it's fighting me. It is actually fighting me. I don't think... Yeah, look, it just deletes it. Ah! We can only really do it with the sun. And I guess that's kind of neat. I mean, how far can we push the sun, though? Seems like the stars are just treated differently. The sun you can just make absolutely massive. Look. Hello, Earth. How's it going? Wow. What a beautiful sight. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like there's more that we could do if Universe Sandbox wasn't limiting my abilities. I mean, that's pretty neat though, making the sun that large. But like, I want more. I wonder if I could do Jupiter. Jupiter's got a lot of mass. And it's pretty far away from the sun. Oh my god. Look at the heating effect. 
Oh god, Jupiter, no! I guess Jupiter is getting pretty warm from this. Um, but you know, we gotta see what'll happen, so... Jupiter, you're next in line. Let's see what happens. I mean, you've got a lot of, a lot of mass. So this should not be a massive issue for you. Oh my god, Jupiter. Jupiter's doing it. Jupiter's doing it. Oh! Oh, we did it. We did it. We made... Whoa! It died. But we did it for like two seconds. Ah. <laughs> oh. Damn. Alright. Densities are fun. But there's only so much you can do. I guess that's it, folks. I guess we've learned the limitations. For two seconds, a challenger approached. I mean, if we had another star... I, I, I'm actually really confident that we could have stars, like... We'll do one more test. Just, just because. Because, technically, this, if you did stars... They would be so far away from each other that they wouldn't rip each other apart. Right? But they'd be like super large and like touching. So this may actually be a cool way to do like a really interesting binary system. Obviously not realistic at all, but who cares? So we can make one. Oh, look at that. One massive sun. Oh, it is getting a little bit ripped apart, though. But it seems to be, like, catching the fragments that are getting ripped out. This is really weird. Oh, it just died. Why? All right, I guess we have learned that our actions have consequences. And you cannot just continue hitting times 10 and expect it to be okay. I mean, although that's what I'm currently doing and the game has allowed the sun to get pretty damn large, but at this point... Oh, really? I have no clue how they do their dynamic scaling. That is kind of insane. The funny thing is that, like, anything else is more massive. This star is more massive than the sun. Oh yeah, look at the floating point errors. The game doesn't- the, can, the game cannot decide where it actually is. Because there's just no precision left. <laughs> Oh no! Where are you, Rigel? Where are you? Alright, that's enough breaking the game for now. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. <laughs> oh, damn.